Hey guys, it's me, Brittany, the Mitten Medium. I am coming to you today with Gemini, September 2018. Um, this is take two. I have already laid out the cards. I have not started reading them. However, my computer got a lag. I'm lucky because I've gotten through this many. So let's just jump right in before it starts lagging again. These are general readings, so they won't apply or resonate with everyone. However, if something does resonate with you, please apply it to the sector that it resonates with and we'll go from there and just throw everything else out. How's that sound? All right, let's get started. The bottom of the deck, we have the nine of wands, which tells me you need to maintain control and beliefs. Don't let anyone step on your belief system. Don't let anyone tell you how, what you believe or how you feel. Also, a big thing here, don't let anyone push you past, past your breaking point, okay? Somebody is going to push you and push you and push you until you blow your top. You need to temper your temper here. Um, you need to maintain your control and not let people get you that worked up. Yes. For those of you who have watched my readings before, you'll know that every time my nose starts itching that the Archangel Michael is around, which tells me that this reading is divinely guided by him. Okay. The first cup we have is the Nine of Cups, which tells me of wish fulfillment. The whatever it is that you've been trying to manifest to trying to bring forth that you have been wishing for for the last three to nine months is finally coming to a head it's finally being rewarded to you you're finally seeing that you are finally going to be at peace that's the what just popped in my head you're finally at peace okay and there's my fucking nose okay so with that wish fulfillment there, okay? The next card we have is the Three of Wands, which is telling me that you have unique inspirations coming in. So something is a little bit different for you, okay? So it's this wish fulfilled that you've been wishing for that uh, isn't exactly as you were hoping it was, but you have been given all of the necessary tools that you need to make it the way you want it or need it. Okay, so this unique inspiration that's coming in is going to help you completely com finish this project. And go forward from there. You also, with the a second part of this card, the aid part of this card, you are not alone in building this. You will have the help that you need and that you want. You are not just building something alone here. The next card we have is the Three of Cups, which is fertility, success, and fulfillment, which tells me right again that you are going to successfully build whatever it is that you've been trying to manifest to yourself, what you've been wishing for, you've been wishing on stars, you've been making wishes at 11-11, um, and this wish is finally being fulfilled, and you are fulfilled with it, okay? You are finally being happy again, okay? Um, you... There is success coming your way with this opportunity or with this energy coming in. Some I'm seeing a pinnacle changing turning point with somebody who is willing to help again. Okay. The next card we have is the Nine of Swords. There is literally four nines in this reading. Four of them. My nose itches so bad. So with the Nine of Swords, it's telling me that all of your answers are in your dreams. Okay? What does that mean, Brittany? It means keep a dream log next to your bed because the the light that the universal lights come in, the universe is going to be giving you answers through your dreams. Okay? You're like, what? That sounds kind of crazy. My dreams are really obscure. Well, don't take the obscurity. Find the absolute, the base meaning of that dream. Or if it's really vivid, then take it at face value. Okay? So there is something that is coming through. The answers that you are seeking are coming through in your dreams. Okay? The last card we have whoop, whoop, is the Nine of Pentacles, which tells me that you are working towards your dreams. Okay, so what I was just told, um, you are not quite sure whether or not to make this decision or this decision, right? So you are trying to 
find what's best for you and then this answer is going to come through in your dreams now that you have that answer what you should do right you are working towards making that happen and that is going to happen because this wish fulfilled card came in you are going to have the unique you the inspiration that you need to accomplish it accomplish it and you're also going to have the help that you need to accomplish it okay and then there's the success card you are going to be completely fulfilled by this okay because you worked for it because you had to get down nitty-gritty in it and you built it okay you made this you produced it so you are going to be completely fulfilled by it and by the end of the month you are going to see this come to fruition and you are finally seeing it fulfilled <gasps> oh my gosh Brittany really yeah yeah really yeah really yeah really let me pull an oracle card just to finish you off here oh please please work please work <laughs> thanks i'm so hungry <laughs> people you know when i first started doing these videos just a little side note i would watch people who did tarot readings on youtube and i would think why are they so tired why are they so hungry like they're just reading cards that is not it at all because they're pulling in energy they are reading energy um these are not just pulling and reading cards this is so much more and i love it when my angel pals are around but they're super draining uh they don't mean to be they're just very high vibrational beings <laughs> so and i'm just Brittany. Sorry. Okay, one final message for Gemini. Please. Oh, thanks, Azrael. Azrael. The Archangel Azrael is another one of my guides. I just need one card, guys. Please, just one. One, two, and cut the deck three times. There it is. Sensitivity. <laughs> my nose. The Archangel Hanel. Haniel, something. You are extra sensitive to energies and emotion right emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. This goes right back to the beginning when I said don't let anybody tell you what you believe or what you feel. You feel what you feel and you need to honor that. Okay? You need to stand up for yourself, maintain your control, however, but you need to stand up for yourself and say no. This is actually what I'm feeling. No, this is actually what I believe. You don't get to make those decisions for me. Okay? With that being said, Gemini. Yes, it is Gemini. Sorry. I love you all. And I hope you have a very wonderful month. And all of your wishes are fulfilled. Bye, guys. I love you.